Hi, my name is Abhilash. I am the technical manager for Altec. On today's video, we are going to show you the unboxing and installation of Sharp MFT BP20 M22. Now that we have unboxed the machine, we are going to lift it and put it on the trolley. We will require two people's help to carry the machine. So I have my colleague here to lift the machine up for me. Now that we have mounted it on the trolley, we are going to remove all the shipping blocks and shipping plates. That's the power cord. You, so you require a screwdriver to remove the screw. This is for the scan and transportation lock. Locks which are there inside the machine to so open the bypass tray. Open the transport unit and remove this and put it, push it back. Now that the machine is mounted on the scan, we are going to put insert the new developer and insert the new toner and initialize the machine. So let us see how we can remove the development unit. So you have to open the front door and you can open the side door also for safety purpose. Now we are going to open the development unit out. You will require a screwdriver. Inside you have a blue color screw. Unlock the screw. The screw will not come out because it is self-tapped screw inside. Remove the connector. And you can remove the development unit by pulling it forward. Take the development unit out, put it on a flat table. You require to remove two screws. And open up the cover. We are just going to remove the drum to show you how the drum will look. We just put it back again. Then we will put back the development unit back into the machine. We will tighten the blue screw which you see. Make sure you put back the connector. Now we are going to load the toner. You can close the right door. Check the toner maybe 10 to 15 times inside the machine. Close the door, do not switch on the machine now. So keeping the front door open, insert the plug, there's a switch on the left hand side, switch on the machine. So whenever after you put the new developer, please do not close the door. Keep the door open and then 
So join the machine. Now you have to go to the simulation mode. As most of you guys are sharp technicians, you must be knowing how to go into the simulation mode. Hash star C star. Now that you are in the simulation mode, we have to initialize the developer. So you go to simulation number 25, press the copy start key, and then you have to press 2, just start key again. So you are in auto developer, execute, you press 1 and say OK. Now you have to close the front door. Okay, now it is showing auto developer adjustment. Now you have to close the door, press 1 and press the start key. So it will take around 2 and a half minutes for it to initialize the developer. After initialization of the developer, you can start using the machine. Now that we have installed the machine, let us go through some of the features of the machine. So we are in the copier function now. So you can go directly to exposure to make the copy text, photo or photo mode, whatever you require, you can select from the key. Again, if you press the all clear key, it comes back to the default. You want double sided copy, then you press the duplex. Then again, you can press the down arrow to select two-sided, one-sided, all the features are available in duplex. Press the CA key, you come back to normal mode. Then you want to go to reduction enlargement, you can press the zoom button, so you can select again. Preset ratio, which is inbuilt on the machine, 400%, 200%, 141, 122, 115, 86. All that can be selected after you press the zoom button. Press the CA key to cancel and return back to normal. You won't have an ID copy. You click the ID copy feature. You get the mark here. Then you put your ID on the machine and you can start taking copy. Again, press the CA key and just come out of it. Then you can go to the special mode and select whatever you want. You want to print a configuration sheet of the machine just go to machine status and say ok so it will print two pages for you the current machine status it will give you and you get two pages like this giving you the firmware version Press the all clear key and come back to the normal. Again, you can go to the special functions. You can register the paper size. You can set it up. So A4, A3, whatever you want, you can set it up. So whatever you want, we are going to set it as A4. Click OK again. So it is set to A4. Same way, you can go to the special function again and set paper size for the bypass tray. You can display the contrast level you can increase or decrease the contrast. That's all clear. You come back to normal. Again, go to special mode. You can display the total count of the machine. It is showing you how much number of copies you have taken. There is one more shortcut method also. You can use it. So you press all clear key and you keep hold the copy button. It will give you total number of copies and the percentage of toner which is remaining that also will give you the status so 50 to 25 percent balance is left on the toner